This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. Many side mount divers prefer to use aluminum versus steel tanks. Some reasons for this include easier handling and the fact that similar tanks are readily available around the world. One issue that aluminum tank side mount divers must deal with is the change in buoyancy characteristics over the course of a normal dive. The tank will shift from being slightly negatively buoyant to slightly positively buoyant at the end of the dive. This is particularly evident with the bottom of the tank. Typically, the bottom of the tank will begin to rotate upward, bringing the tank out of trim and increasing user swimming effort. Divers have come up with a variety of techniques to address this issue. These include sliding D-rings and the use of two D-rings on each side, one more forward and one more rearward. In this video, we're going to talk about a mounting system that I have been experimenting with uh, since uh, pre-COVID. And uh, it is the uh, mounting system for side mount diving. Uh, where I'm going to be using two aluminum um, uh, 80s, two AL 80s. Uh, I have my uh, gauges uh, in the preferred manner that I have where I have them set up as, uh, as deco bottles rather than uh, leading down against the side of the tank or sticking up on the stock. So uh, the left carry tank is on the left with the necklace and the right carry tank with the long hoses on the right. Now if you look closely at this image, what you'll notice is on the two tank bands, there are two knobs uh, on either side of the tank. Uh, you also see the conventional rigging uh, that you might expect for uh, side mount diving. But uh, let's talk about these two nubs on the side. What these are, are a magnetic attachment system for the base of the tanks on the uh, side mount uh, bladder waist belt. Here is my Stealth BCD, a Stealth Tech 2.0 uh, dual redundant bladder uh, BCD. And um, this is the mount, the magnetic mount, which consists of another high density polymer block and the magnet is screwed into the block. So this plate mounts directly onto uh, the belt. There is an identical one on the opposite side, another block with a magnet mounted on to the belt. So the way this works in practice is, instead of clipping the bottle, the cylinder onto a D-ring like here, what you do is you put the block that is on the tank band into the little recess where the magnet is right here. And this is a very uh, powerful magnet. I think it's rated at something like 75 pounds. And what happens is, is the recess, which I think can be seen right here, uh, allows the fitting on the tank band to rotate and move about slightly um, so that it is not actually a completely rigid system. But more importantly, what it does is it allows the tank position relative to your belt to stay in the exact same position regardless of the pressure in the tank. So instead of having to have two sets of D-rings like this to use depending upon how much gas is in the cylinder and how buoyant it is. Uh, you do not need to adjust the position of the tank at all since it is secured inside this fitting. In use, the component on the tank band on the cam tank band is inserted into the socket on the waist belt. 
Again, this allows the lower attachment point to be in a consistent place and not move regardless of the amount of gas in the tank or whether or not the tank is positively or negatively buoyant. With this system, I prefer to use a modified ring bungee system with the ring, the quick link, and the bolt snap that goes to the shoulder D-ring. On the tank side, the upper bolt snap does not use a webbing choker, but rather a bungee choker. This makes it a little easier to install the upper bolt snap. Just before COVID, I used this system uh, for a week of diving at Scuba Club Cozumel. I did not encounter any difficulties. I was quite surprised by the magnetic force of the system. And in fact, uh, in order to get back on the boat, uh, I typically remove my right hand tank. And in order to do so, I would have to hit the tank with my right leg uh, thigh in order to loosen it from the magnetic mount. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. I hope this video was informative. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.